Thank you. Really want to welcome you guys one more time. My name is Stephen. Uh, I'm the founder of the Project Harmony. We want to go through a few ideas, um, how to connect more people, build, building bridges, but also, as Julian just said, how to create wealth. Maybe in the lowercase h harmony, how to create wealth together. It's what I want to talk about today. So you guys heard about the first talk, understanding what Tao can do, what it is. Uh, you guys probably know what that is anyway. That's why you guys come to Lisbon to, to learn more, to actually build it. I have my own definition too. I don't know how you take DAO, but DAO is for everyone to define what that is. Just like NFT, just like even what Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. My way of understanding DAO is, it's an on-chain club of assets and actions. So the people can come together, they may be staking some tokens to join this club to be the, become the member. But then the critical thing is, they have a pool of resources so that they can do something together. They may have a mandate, they want to really have this mission of making changes, whether on-chain or to the world. And I think that's very interesting. It's really lie between the physical world and what you would want to do together digitally. Why we, why we talk about it from that way is, we finally, since we announced uh, in around August, we already started tens of these DAOs. We finally figured out what tools people need to get on board. We understand that for each of the DAO, you better make a really, really good chat line. You really want to even have three mandates that fit in the tweet. So memorable. People actually like to write really long, even tweet thread, if not long, medium article. Very few write white paper anymore. But it's very critical that these three mandates is what the people come for this DAO, join this DAO. If there's any reasons to dispel, any reason to ask why you're in this DAO, this will be the reason. So for many of the DAOs, we actually write it out. Uh, we actually now have the DAOs to have funded from Harmony. We committed to um, one million each for many of the top 10 DAOs that we started. But most of all, what, what they are is very important because the fun thing is easy. To start is actually what get people excited. Hopefully it become almost like a, um, the constitution for some country that they stay for this reason. Even though people change, even though there are new opportunities, they stay for that reason. In particular, we started research now that talk about how to bring the best production, best research result to production. For Harmony, we have been doing that for uh, Omni Ledger and Rapid Chain, for those that started with consensus algorithm back in a few years ago, that we, put, we productionize the sharding. And then last year, we started productionizing the fly client architecture for bridges. And just this year, we start doing the smart OTP for one-time password authentication. We feel great about really that there's so much great technology that used to take years and now it can be done just in a few months into production. So we fully funded a research DAO to do that. The second DAO that uh, many people talk about uh, wallet being important, onboarding users being important, is also what we're thinking. We have a good tagline for you. We call it the fearless wallet for everyone because I don't want you to think about your password, or your seed phrases, or losing your hardware uh, devices, so that you can onboard as, as uh, everyone wants to do, onboard your grandma. I finally be able to onboard many of my uh, family members that never touch any even investment or cryptocurrency with something like Argent, with something like uh, what they can understand with fixed rate, saving rates that Terra has been able to. So a wallet like that, needs to be something that they don't need to worry about the volatility, they don't need to worry about. Like, I, I actually researched through all 20 like, different wallets to figure that out. Like, also exchanges. Uh, somewhere on the security like advice, they always say, copy down your seed phrases on a, on a card, uh, but they never tell you what to do with that card. 
uh, put it in safety box or like uh, put it somewhere to hide. Don't do that, right? You will not. You will lose sleep if you do that. So that's why we call it the fearless style. But that's why it's interesting that uh, we don't think it's about a few particular DAOs, but how we shape the conversation. So we started something called the basic DAO. That's tied to the idea of basic income, or maybe even minimal pay. Minimal salary, minimal pay, how do you get started? It's so critical to be thinking about what will be the workforce of the future. If, we, if you truly believe that uh, DAO is the future of work, what are the bottom line? Are we just handing out universal basic income to everyone? Or is there something that these creatives and builders can do together and you will fund them with that? So we fund them with $75 per hour for anything that you will do. I'll talk more about the budget and how do we come up with their calculations. But at the end of the day, we felt like this is a great time now that anyone come to your community, anyone come to your chain, that they will just show up, maybe fin finish a quest so that they understand what they want to, uh, what, what they are building. Uh, and they will, they will track their own time sheet. They don't need to tell you uh, like what they are learning, what to build, as long as they be honest with yourself, uh, with, with themselves and with the community. With that time sheet idea, it's great. We don't need any more HR department. You don't need to talk to your managers. You don't need to understand what is your promotion track. That we felt like a basic DAO, a basic income DAO for at-will contributions will be the fundamental minimum bar whether society, a community, or a new blockchain should provide for many, many of us. I actually think that there's such an abundance of project, reserve, and treasury, so many bounties, but also the disparity of the global talent. So many developers all over the world, $75 per hour almost come up to 100000 dollars as an annual salary will be very, very good for most places in the world. But then the last part is also good. How do we actually manage the coordination with these people, whether it's about performance review, whether they're having a hard conversation, whether you're doing well. You remember the first talk about the Taoists, that understanding the alignment of founders, understanding should we recruit this guy or kick this guy away um, to be part of the team or part of the DAO? will be very hard. If we can even figure out how to do the minimal thing, both to pay you, but to engage you, but also tell you you are doing well, I think would solve so much more coordination problem. But we can be very specific as well. The developer DAOs is something that uh, is not just basic, but very particular to what the developers need. With the concept of like developer need to be the first and friendly to any of the community, we actually find many projects very difficult to go through the last stage. They have an idea, they may try to do a hackathon, but they couldn't launch. They couldn't figure out how to really get through all the documentation. So people hate the project managers um, to interfere with the launch day, to figure out like how to touch up on the documentation. Um, like now the question is, how do we get the project manager to be helpful for the developers? So we are now here with the developer DAO because this is what needed. Even where I came from, I used to work at Google. At one point, the founder said, let the engineers do all the fun thing and let's fire all the product managers. Oh, they did end up not doing that. All the MBAs still have a job at Google because it's uh, the coordination among the engineers is what a developer DAO can do. The efficacy of bringing more people to the ecosystem, but also like really understanding what is needed of the features and the bugs that need to be fixed. So that's something very specific that you are technical, but you don't need to think about a particular project or a particular product to launch, but you want to be part of the community. But we have something much more fun to, to talk about. We call it the all for one with love. We actually have so many requests from our community to do tips on Telegram. You probably received some. 
we probably talk about peer bonus uh, in a in in a in a project or uh, even we coordinate a being so critical. It's not so much about the money value, but so much of recognizing of the hard work with each other. That's why we want to talk about the spotlighting, whether artist or developer in your community. So what this DAO on Harmony would do is, as long as uh, you write up a great editorial of recognition and get the community to actually like tips uh, to an artist or anything, this DAO will match uh, the amount, will actually promote and spotlight that particular artist. We think that the, the human part is actually really missing, especially on Telegram, especially on Twitter. Right? You felt like everyone is really having fun and you're not part of the party. It's actually the opposite that we actually want to help. We want to really write out the story so that we find the connection that suddenly that your team, now you, even though you don't know them, that tens of them actually will write out a testimony for you. They will actually recognize you that even though it's just another PR for you that you can be part of um, the whether weekly or monthly spotlight. So we want to keep running it until we actually make this DAO to be an ongoing effort as a tips. One last DAO that uh, we, we, we have funded um, it's called a liquidity DAO. Even more interesting, because uh, this actually requires far more funding. So all the other DAOs is just $1 million. We funded this with $2 million, because uh, we actually know talking about market making is the hardest thing for any project. They always do an OTC deal. They always talk to a centralized market maker. Um, I don't know how many of you negotiated with market maker before. Um, of course, when everything is just automated, just a formula like uh, Curve, if not a unit swap, is easy. But there's still far more, um, uh, like uh, small pools, different exchanges, as well as uh, different blockchain and bridges that we need to connect with. How to actually boost and connect the uh, integrate with the, all these small exchanges is what we talk about for a long time over many years. How to do arbitrage among all these. The interesting thing is uh, we have a partner called Hummingbot. It's exactly driving this DAO. It's really not Harmony driving it. It's not even Hummingbot driving it. Harmony, ha Harmony is really believing that vision, that Hummingbot is providing the tools for hundreds of these uh, bots called Hummingbots to do market making. What's interesting here is uh, all these connectors and API will be open source. And the metrics about keeping the spread uh, th uh, close, how to balance the risk for the project when they're holding the capitals versus the market maker want to extract ex ex uh, as much fees as possible has been the hardest problem that any project need to get listed, need to launch with like, like high liquidity. There's never a transparency enough. That way is that uh, crazy sudden boost of sales and as well as a transaction coming from. So we think that that's what the, really what the industry can count on, that that will be the last part that all these community-driven market making will make a big difference. And now for the video. Yep. I, I, I only watch it on my iPhone. I didn't know the bass is so awesome. Um, we just want a 30 second interlude for you guys. It's really interesting that uh, Lisbon, I already felt like there are so many builders, for sure DeFi, talking about developers. But we also want to talk about NFT as well. So with that, we also have another DAO just to talk about NFT that uh, for sure we're heading to New York after this, that for anyone interested in the concept of what we call the social moments, whenever you meet someone, you're in a place, there, there is uh, what the event DAO, uh, events uh, uh, NFT that makes it very interesting. That uh, we have one more partner talk that uh, after us that will tell you guys more about what we show you in the video. 
But next one is actually why uh, we want to announce to you guys today. The big announcement today from Harmony is Harmony recently purchased the internet top level domain called Dog Country. Just like .com and dot link L I N K with Ethereum ETH, you guys probably know any anywhere you go to Web two, you still need to work with the traditional DNS domain system, but most of all, all this registration as well as uh, all these toolings, all the browser integration and what's not, right? So Harmony actually uh, has been really interested in the concept of names as an NFT for a long time. We're very lucky that uh, Dark Country become available for sales. We buy it up so that we can play with it with you guys. We think Dark Country is actually how each of us should feel when we're sorting it out. We think dark country is what I want you to be a digital citizen of each of these um, new domain. So with the dark country, we would be putting it both integrating uh, for sure with all the web three stack, but already day one will be interacting with the traditional DNS and what's not. The critical thing that we want to think about is um, what's so interesting about maintaining another web two stack is uh, everyone know what happened in the real estate market, in the domain uh, market, then whether name squatting, whether like good use of uh, any of your digital property, even including your names and NFT, is what we can play with it now. For those who have uh, been following Ethereum, you may have heard of the concept of radical markets. You may even heard of like mechanism design. The easiest one is actually to play with it uh, with the names. So vertical market means uh, you, you can read the whole book. I, I read many of these articles, but there are two concepts that are super, super fundamental that I think both blockchain and now with the domain names we can play with. The first one is being able to allow you to pay whatever self-assessed tax or fees that you are willing to enter this market. So I own this domain, I hold this NFT, and I cannot hold on it to ever, forever, except for whatever tax that you put in back to the system. If someone willing to pay higher than the fees and the market price that you, you listed, the, your self-assessed uh, price, then I own that property. It becomes super interesting that uh, no one need to force you to think about how much tax or how much you're contributing back to the public goods so that there'll be a common pool of resources that we can advance a domain or a market together. Second concept is called the uh, quadratic stakes, meaning the top one won't forever dominate how much uh, power or say or the like, earning that they have. That uh, it works just as well for domain names. The second concept is called the uh, mechanism design. That's just as interesting. When you think about one-time purchase, uh, whether from Uniswap or any exchanges, it's not a great way to exchange goods or uh, to, 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 to build a uh, vibrant market. They call it that when you and I want to do a transactions, uh, if it's fungible, it's very easy. And when I have another opportunity, a few minutes later or an hour later, it's very easy. You just wait for the price to go up and down and see what happens, right? But when there are much more high-stake transactions, you never want to reveal your true pre preference, whether you want to sell or not, or what price you want to sell or not. How to actually help everyone to protect their true preference, but be able to reveal to each other in the multi-round auctions or any mechanism like that, we think that it's going to be very fun with the dark country that we all want to play with. But uh, most of all, um, whether the names or even the society, I would say, why is uh, all this incumbent, if not government, if not banks become so entrenched, is because there's no way, once they set out to be the, what the constitution, or this is a rule, this is a policy, this is a law, there's no forcing function for them to change anymore. We felt like that uh, you probably only hold one passport or a few. We think that whether with DAO or with this dark country, 
we can really, really experiment how you want to showcase your identity or reputation in the future. All right. Um, I'm not going to go through this chart and budget. Uh, we actually did so long the calculations of how to use our 300 million treasury um, for all the builders. It's really crazy. As you guys probably know, there are probably like 10 projects that have billion dollar or more treasury. And you can never understand how to spend it, actually. You can never understand how your government, why they budget it that way. You can understand the protocol or the DeFi project, how to budget better and spend it, right? They have a rough bucket, they have uh, some ideas. So I really want to tell that uh, how many uh, think that launching 100 hours, helping 10,000 builders, making an impact for 10 million people is really the best way as a target to think about whether 300, maybe by next year, there'll be more treasury in that. We want to set up the right process for sure, it's going to be transparent, it's going to be open development, but the harder of it yet is how to think about putting the bounties out, putting $75. The only magical number here is $75 per hour. So we did lots of calculations, we, we looked through many of how other projects think about how everyone should be fairly paid. Um, we think that $75 per hour will force their be far more opportunity in the world that you don't even need to ask. You show up, you are building something, you're creating something that can be part of it. So we call it a, like the base income or one to earn instead of play to earn. That you, you actually become the uh, minimal pay here for the builders and creators. That even though like, uh, um, you may be part of the team leads, uh, there will be even lower hours, but we allow you to commit a longer time investing with some tokens. So on our page, we actually set out different budgets so that you guys can understand. Hopefully, Harmony is just one model, how to uh, model out different budget. We want to set an example, for sure, as a social experiment, how we can actually make better use um, with different resources that we can reallocate back to the next generation of builders. That's it. Um, we actually have a few link for you guys to play with some of our products. Uh, just like uh, many, some of the DeFi projects have academy for you to learn how to get started. We have something similar. We call it the one quest, so that uh, we actually going to benchmark you how fast you can go through these products. So some some of you said like we actually want to like go hours into this, right? I actually want to make it a race. How can you help your, 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 whether your girlfriend or your grandma to get started on blockchain is so critical. Once they have an NFT, once they sell a wallet without you telling them where to store, once they actually have a few tokens they can play with, looking at the, not about just the price now. I mean, for the last week, it's just the price, right? Well, now it can be about the fixed rate saving. It can be about an airdrop of the NFT. It can be setting up a DAO on the fly. So whether noses or like uh, really ha having a holding a multi sig with a few people voting for the governance, it actually can all be done on mobile in a few minutes now. And I challenge you. I know n none of them really works the first time for someone to play with it. We want to use it as a benchmark how fast we are racing to the first million users that we can onboard. So. We also list out very in detail. Everyone asks, hey, you have 300 million, can I do this, right? Can, can I get, uh, can I get uh, 10K of that, uh, 50K of that? Yeah, the, the, the answer is yes. So we actually list it out, if you have an idea, let's do this together. If you actually have a product that launched on other chain, we want to help you with a, like, a launch campaign. That make it very simple with um, the decision tree of a grant. We actually really look up to Ethereum Foundation, if not even Polkadot, that they put all the, um, all the grants on, uh, 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 on even GitHub. We actually want to go even more extreme. So far, there's no other project that even put out their grant amounts out in the open or how much you may get paid if you have this idea. So we think that the more transparency we're going to attract more people, less friction about just back and forth. The way that uh, whether Ave or Curve have done on the forum, even talking about the incentive program, is one star. 
right? So liquidity campaign is exactly a marketing campaign, a launch campaign that uh, maybe we, we, we didn't even expect that can be done so openly, right? And now let's imagine that your salary, your grant amount can be out in the open, going through the steps is what we, we want to help everyone to get started. Uh, we have a few links about what we talk about today. Um, we have a, we, Masari also just come out with a really good report of, the, of all our roadmap and also many of the uh, product overview that we have done in the last link that uh, if you are new to Harmony, that can be helpful. Uh, but last of all, um, one more. Yeah. The, the fun, slide, fun slide is, I don't know how many like, engineers or builders are here. We want to make sure that we can tell you about some of our research and engineering idea. Uh, we probably want to host more workshops and hackathons so that we can go through some of these things uh, to talk about now the world has come to multiple chain with layers two as well as uh, different roll-ups uh, technology. What's the difference between roll-ups and bridges? So question like that, we actually want more discussion of the more hard metrics, if not research and references that I want to talk to you about. Um, uh, I think, but I think that's it, right? Yeah. Well, thank you everyone for today. Um, really enjoy the rest of the talk. Again, thank you. Thank you.